Buenas noches. Good evening. This is Paul Lennon uh, speaking to you from Guatemala. Um, un saludo desde Guatemala, América Central. I want to talk about Advent. Quiero explicar Adviento. Porque el sacerdote no supo explicarlo bien a los feligreses. Last Sunday, the priest didn't know really how to introduce this issue to the parishioners, so uh, I felt uh, really let down. Sentí muy, 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 muy desacorazonado con este sacerdote. Se le olvidó decir cosas muy sencillos. Very simple thing. Advent means uh, coming. Uh, in español, adviento significa venida. It's the same in English and in Spanish. And uh, who's coming? Jesus. ¿Quién viene? Jesús. So remember this little fella. I just took him out of our nacimiento, out of our nativity scene. Aquí está nuestro Jesús. Y bonito bebé. It's a beautiful little baby. And uh, I'll tell you a funny story about that in a moment. Les voy a decir un cuento chistoso después de esto. Aquí está. And so we have that. And uh, it's the beginning of the church year. Es el principio del, del año de la iglesia católica o cristiana, como quieran. So uh, it's not the first of January for us Christians, Catholics. It's um, first Sunday of Advent, you know. And they have the, uh, the light, the little, they light the little purple uh, candle. Primer domingo de Adviento que encienden una velita uh, color, color uh, púrpura, morada, etc. So this is what this is all about. The first uh, first Sunday of the year, uh, the beginning of the year for us Catholics, el principio del año para nosotros los, los católicos, eh, porque y lo comenzamos así, um, casi el principio del año, porque es el invierno, you know, almost beginning of the year because it's winter, winter solstice, etc. And so here we are. Um, that's really all I have to for you at the moment uh, uh, as regarding this uh, Advent meaning coming, coming of Jesus, and of course, coming of Jesus, Jesus will be born, eh, el nacimiento de Jesús, que va a suceder ahora, estamos preparando el nacimiento de Jesús, eh, the church always starts its big, big feast days with, with some weeks in advance, eh, comenzamos siempre las grandes fiestas con unos semanas de anticipación, preparation, preparación, un poco de ayuno, a little bit of maybe fasting, abstinence, and uh, prayers, uh, almsgiving, uh, limosnas, uh, más oración. This is how we prepare for Christmas. Así preparamos para la Navidad de nuestro Señor. Now, um, cuando yo era misionero en Quintana Roo, I was a priest in Quintana Roo, Mexico. You all know where Cancun is, but uh, that's in the state of Quintana Roo. Quintana Roo, please get your Spanish. But anyway, I had a lovely little baby, Jesus. Tenía yo un bebé, Jesús. Niño Jesús, perdón, en mi nacimiento, ¿verdad? En el pesebre, the little baby was in the manger. And all of a sudden, the little baby disappeared a few days before Christmas. And I, being Irish, became very, shall we say, um, annoyed. Así que antes de la Navidad, me robaron el niño Jesús de mi nacimiento del pesebre. Y yo, pues... Me pareció una barbaridad. I was very upset. Me estaba casi enojado, pero ya sabe que los sacerdotes no se enojan, solo se molestan. So, all of a sudden, what's going on here? ¿Qué está pasando en mi parroquia? Me han robado al niño Jesús. But my uh, sacristan, uh, mi sacristan, my, uh, helped me understand what was going on. Me ayudó a entender esta costumbre. It was a local custom among those folks in the Yucatan Peninsula, ¿verdad? And uh, me dijo que era costumbre que alguien tomara el niño Jesús para vestirlo. Porque estaba un poquito indecente. So my, my sacristan, Eulogio Coyi, may God bless him, uh, he explained to me that the custom was that some pious ladies usually took the baby from the manger because it was naked. And the baby came back with a little white shirt on him to become more modest. The bebé regresó, pero ya con su camisita, eh, porque así era más eh, decente, eh, más 
eh, protegido. Y además el frío de Navidad, ¿no? Because the cold might be cold also on Christmas Eve, etc., etc. So that's a little story for you. And have a happy Advent. And don't forget what it's all about, not just about buying presents. No se trata nada más de comprar regalos. Y ha, 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 ho, 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 and Santa Claus and all that kind of stuff. But really what it's about, well, for me at least, is Jesus is coming, brothers and sisters. Viene Jesucristo, nuestro Señor, a estar entre nosotros. It's a great mystery that we cannot fathom. I mean, we're we believe, you know, hey, the Son of God came down from heaven to live among us. He became one of us like this, you know, and he became man. El Hijo de Dios bajó del cielo y se hizo hombre y vivió entre nosotros. And we don't really understand this. This is very, this is a mystery. It's a great mystery. Es un misterio muy grande que casi que nos cuesta mucho creer. I, I think... It's really hard to understand this, you know. So you have to be really hooked on, on Jesus. Hay que estar como muy uh, creyente en, en Jesús. And uh, to believe this great mystery, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's bewildering. It's unfathomable, ¿verdad? Eh, Impossible de entender that, that God, you know, the Son of God, según down from heavens, infinite, whatever, coming into the world on a, on a winter's night in, in Palestine, que viene bajando los cielos en una noche de invierno, viene a Palestina y nace en un pesebre, you know, tremendously humble. And this is uh, what Jesus is, is all about. That's part of what Jesus is. He's tremendously humble. And I hope for that also attractive to all of us. Forget all these big vestments and all that stuff and tiaras and croziers and golden things and all that kind of thing. I'll be going to say this as cosas maravillosas de tiaras y coronas y calices de oro y todo eso. No, no. Tiene que ser very, muy, muy pobre. So, take off my cap to that poor person who came down to be with us. Me quito el sombrero a ese Jesús que vino, que se rebajó hasta ser uno de nosotros en todo menos en el pecado. Amén. So be it.